Hello friends, now let's solve the integer break problem. Let's see the statement. Given a positive integer n, break it into the sum of at least two positive integers and maximize the product of those integers. Return the maximum product you can get. The example one is we are given two, the output should be one, because two can only be separated like one and one. So the maximum product is one. Uh, let's see the example 2. We are given the 10. So the output will be the 36 because 10 can be separated uh, as 334. So the maximum is uh, 36. How do you think about this problem? Uh, well, I think this problem is kind of similar like the co change problem, which the n is the amount. And uh, we have the 1, 2, one to the, um, one to the n minus one. Uh, uh, this uh, coins. So our product, uh, our task is to return maximum product. So uh, we can use an integer to indicate a DP integer array to indicate the maximum product we can make. Say if we are given n equal to 10, like uh, we try to uh, use a 3, so the, well, the max product they can get should be the 3 times uh, 7, or, the, or it should be 3 times the uh, dp7. What does that mean? Uh, one possible, one possible is possibility that we just uh, time these uh, two um, elements because their sum is equal to the 10. Another possibility is that uh, we use the 3 to times the maximum product uh, the 7 can get. So we can use a bottom up manner to, uh, to solve this uh, problem. Mm. Because the following elements max product is dependent on the previous uh, integers product, so we will new a uh, integer array, and that the size should be n plus one, because it can only be made up by the positive integer. So we <coughs> start to iterate the array, and uh, we'll I will. Initialize to the one and the i less or equal than n i plus plus, and then we will try to figure out the maximum product uh, that sum up to the i. So we should try to um, we should try each possible integer that's less than the i, and the j will also start start from the one and j less or equal than i. Why? Because one possibility that i and j both equal to one, so it should have the equal size and j plus plus. And I said dpi um, can have two possibility max, which is dpi, and uh, we just use i minus j times the current j, which is the three times seven. It's the one possibility, and another possibility should be max use dpi. And we will use uh, the previous um, previous result, which is uh, we calculate the j already, and uh, times this i minus j. And then we compare this element to uh, get the max, ma uh, the larger one. So finally, we just return dpn, which means the uh, maximum product we can get. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.